All right, welcome to a new series of how to use AI to make your art more efficient. Okay, so for example, if you want to uh, say uh, create a web comic, or or if you you know want to learn art quickly um, without you know finding a specific pose, or you want a specific style. And uh, but that style have never been you know applied to a specific you know poses or you know composition something like that. You can use AI to help you to find inspirations. I uh, recently I encountered um, AI called uh, um, Confi UI, which will be a, um, a very interesting environment I think, and uh, it's very very interesting because. It kind of like a blender's, you know, node, and uh, they use a very like an intuitive UI system, and you can uh, kind of unwrap the process while you are doing things. So um, you can sort of treat this kind of UI like uh, instead of just using one prompt, like a positive prompt and negative prompt, to you know, like a, you know, I think. Using problems like enchanting, like a, like a magic, <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, even though it's fancy, but uh, it's a little bit unstable. So, um, Coffee UI uh, can sort of visualize the process and make you uh, at least feel that you have more control. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's basically what uh, from my experience, okay. So, uh, first, this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, install that. Basically, two methods. One method, install that locally on your computer. The second method is to run that uh, like a, in the cloud. And you use your uh, browser to look at it. Okay, so basically, it already provides a UI. Okay, and uh, the first way, if you want to do this, um, I recommend to go to the GitHub page. Okay, so let me show you. Most powerful and modular stable diffusion GUI system. Okay, I, uh, yeah, I recommend um, follow their official website, uh, GitHub slash uh, Confi uh, Yanomos slash Confi UI. Okay, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Okay, and uh, this is like a in step by step uh, process, and uh, um, I don't think I don't think this require a uh, very high end computer. Okay, even though you have a oh, computer do not have a uh, GPU, you can still do that. Okay, uh, uh, I believe it will, <laughs> I believe it will run a lot of slower than a GPU. But 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 just just uh, you know, you have to like use a little bit of pip. Uh, by the way, if you don't know what pip is, pip is like a package manager system that uh, when you are say writing Python, you want you want to install some of the libraries, you, know, you can use pip to install that. Basically, that, that that's it. Okay, so you just need to uh, install Jupyter Notebook and go through that step by step. And of course. Uh, you're going to uh, yeah uh, do different steps according to different platform, the Apple's platform, the Windows, the Linux, all that different, okay. But um, uh, yeah, if you're interested, you can go there. I will link this. Uh, uh, I will link this in the description below. But that is not the method I recommend, okay. That is not rec uh, method I recommend because you know if you you're watching this video. You're maybe not from a programming background, okay? I'm from programming back background. I also got a channel called Code with William Jamie, where I share uh, my uh, like uh, am I doing some of the uh, me doing some of the uh, programming like Android development, uh, Swift <laughs> development, iOS development, um, like a back end, write Java, C sharp, Unity. And uh, recently, I really into the Godot and uh, Unreal Engine. Uh, so I write a lot like C plus plus. Recently, okay. So yeah. So if you are not from that background, 
I recommend that you are using a different method, which is the method that I think will be better. Okay, and uh, I will also uh, share a copy of uh, a Colab um, notebook. So basically, <laughs> if you don't know what a Colab is, it's, uh, it's kind of a Google service. And you can use it for free uh, as long as you don't not do, don't uh, like exceed the competition power, and uh, uh, it's a fairly cheap. Even though you 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 already like subscribe to their service, and uh, you can create so much value, so much more value than that. And uh, yeah, let, let me just show you. Okay, this is just, this is the second method. So there is a a uh, guy called a dream. Michael dream machine dream machine okay dream machine AI okay this guy is amazing you can check it out I, I believe he also got a YouTube channel maybe um, okay and uh, let me just give him a shout out dream machine dream machine AI okay so it's kind of a, like a website and uh, Maybe it's his website. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Dream Machine A modified by. I'm not. I'm not sure whether it's uh, it's him or not. Okay, so I'm not going to show it. Uh, this is just a a um, a project that I encountered on GitHub. Okay, I uh, I'm a programmer. Always like uh, browse the GitHub for fun. So I find out that uh, this guy modified the uh, config UI to make it can actually run. On Google's Colab, and uh, even though you just uh, got it for free, uh, for example, if you want to try it out, you can just uh, click a disk. Uh, I will link a description, a copy of the notebook, and then you just log in your like a Google, uh, Google account maybe, and uh, it will automatically you know uh, run this on your instance. So basically, you are creating a copy of the instance. Uh, of all this notebook and if you run that we will just uh, have a machine like a virtual machine created for you and you can run that uh, on the cloud okay so uh, basically you, you can use the comfy UI on your browser okay so this is a, a very interesting way of running it and you use a cloud flare uh, cloud flare cloud flare to run this and it runs very very smoothly okay uh, and by the way if you don't know how to run this this is like a, a web version of Jupyter Notebook you just need to you know hover this install and you just click run and just wait for it you don't need to consider all that uh, like environment setting you don't need to worry about any of this because it's a it's a it's a Google's collab so it kind of like a cater the computational like a scientific computational need so all this library will be prepared for you if it's not ready you will download that and uh, it will also run smoothly so just the cell by cell you just click run until you finish and click run until you finish and click run until you finish and by the way there is something that you need to pay special attention to I use a, uh, a Google's like a drive service uh, for my like reference picture storage and uh, some video storage uh, for my personal use and, um, and then I realized that you can actually mount your Google's drive and uh, because you know um, the, conf the, the great thing about Comfy UI and Stable Diffusion is that it can load a lot of pre-trained model and uh, we call that a checkpoint so that if that model uh, trained by, uh, by a specific like artist work they have a specific style and uh, you can you can make a checkpoint and that specific model can be the starting point of your project and then you can add more things to fine chain things it's a very interesting experience it's like an output of a, of a blender's node if you are coming uh, from like a band, Blender's video, okay, so uh, it's like a, a, a node that is uh, serve as an output but also as an input for all series of um, uh, node rendering, okay? So, um, uh, so you might need 
a lot of space for different model, especially if you want to like uh, uh, install some of the uh, like a custom model from like a civet, uh, as uh, uh, called uh, I think I think called a civet AI. Okay, it's a website that got a lot of tons of train model. Okay, and uh, you you can you can you know um, use mount the drive, so you don't need to you know. Uh, install that every time you or initialize this instance and um, by the way by the way there's another thing about you have to be very careful about uh, Google's collab is that uh, sometimes it's, it's a very unstable okay sometimes it's very unstable sometimes it's very stable so do be sure uh, to copy uh, or make a copy of the important thing and uh, yeah, sometimes when you're running, they will automatically let have a shutdown if there is uh, like a long time that you haven't do anything. And uh, I believe they have a policy of uh, say uh, you, you can't like uh, like abuse their system. And uh, uh, I have a read every detail. Uh, I'm not from a law background, so uh, I don't. I, I don't know. Just don't do things that I don't like you to to do, and don't abuse the system. Okay, and uh, yeah, and sometimes they may ban, uh, not uh, safe like NSFW, work, so not safe from work. Work. Uh, sometimes if you use that, they will find out, and they will sort of ban the. Uh, it's not necessarily the account. I'm not sure, but uh, there is uh, always some, you know, allegedly some some guy at Reddit saying that they can't go uh, banned because of this. I'm not sure. Okay, I just uh, want to share this information, and I'm not sure it's true or not. But just a little like a friendly reminder that uh, yeah. Don't try to do something like very naughty about it because you have a, a risk of like a the whole account got shut down or something like that or maybe just uh, you lost the subscription fee uh, and they closed the uh, service uh, access to their service. Okay, just a little remind. And uh, things I already mounted Google Drive. I'm going to check this and we can update config UI. And by the way, the left side of code so. And if you are not um, like a programmer, you don't need to worry about the code. You just need to look at the right side and check the things that you want to install and uncheck the things that you don't want to install. Okay. So the first time I ch check everything and the second time I don't need to update. I don't need to like uh, install the uh, manager, animate dev, all that because this already downloaded at my drive. Okay. As simple as that and uh, then the next step will be like a download custom resources this is optional of course you can use the uh, CVAI's API to download all that it's totally okay and of course as uh, the video progress uh, I will show you how to like a fine model a CVAI get us at that specific chain point and start from there okay and uh, yeah, we can uh, specify a, a file name, all that. Uh, right now, I'm just using the default one. You just click and download. Of course, you can skip the all together. Uh, but you won't be able to use the uh, like model, VAEs, LoRa's, control net, all that. It's a very, very powerful tool. And we got standard resources. I like to check all the things because I, uh, I, I love to demonstrate <laughs> and I make tutorial. So I have to like check everything and show you as much as possible. Okay, here comes the interesting part. And the final part is to just run the last cell. And the last cell, if you run, it will always be running. And uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, if you see some sort of like a URL, uh, this is URL to access config UI then this is successful you don't need to like click this and pause everything and run that again it will not end this process will not end and as long as it's not end you click this you're brought to this page 
okay? And this page is, uh, you know, as the name suggests, is Covid UI. So it's very, very similar to Blender's Note. And uh, then from the next video, I think, we're going to like skip the whole cumbersome installation process and actually dive deeper into how to use all this node. I love all this node wrangling. I love the node wrangling in Blender and I love the node wrangling in Config UI. So yeah, um, it's already pretty long for this video. Uh, if you want to see more about me talking about all these AI tools and how to incorporate this uh, into the uh, creative process of your everyday work, um, please just leave it in comment or just give this video a thumb up. I really need your feedback. Okay, thank you so much, and uh, yeah, see you next video. Bye.